Spirit. The Spirit of 76. At American Airlines, we know that a fast trip through the airport is the best trip through the airport. That's why... One-stop check-in to save you time. And something more. Round trip and connecting morning passes. And reserve seating in advance. Repossessing cars by force tomorrow at 6. Tonight, a world television premiere. They were a great Sunday softball team, but kept striking out at home. We haven't made love in four months. A little slump. Lou keeps looking for the right girl. Artie wants a little respect. My hat is not to be used as a home for your hamsters. Bucky is a leader of men. What are you, a sissy? Yes. Rob Reiner stars in the Million Dollar Enfield, the local neighborhood team that's going for love. Honor, glory, and the world championship of comedy. Which one was the catch on the Next. You deserve a break today. Beef mac, filet of fish, quarter pounder, french fries, icy cook, thick shake, sundaes, and apple pies. Bing, sing along to the beef, pounder, french fries, icy single bus, what you like to eat, and apple pies. Bing, out for the great taste, pounder, french fries. You can only find in one place. Go! Throughout history, we've created sounds to call out over vast distances. Now, Zenith System 3 introduces the only television that's also a telephone. With advanced space bone, you can take or make calls anywhere in the world, right through your set. Hello, London speaking. No other TV set can make that call. System 3 from Zenith. The quality goes in before the name goes on. It's your first day, you really try. You're working hard, there's no denying. You want a break, that's satisfying. You're in Maxwell House. Flavor that you've come to count on. Taste that's always true. Relax and get yourself together. Maxwell House, say you. Get that good to the last drop of feeling. With Maxwell House, only Maxwell House gives you good to the last drop of feeling. Maxwell House. Maxwell House has a taste, a feeling like no other coffee. Always good to the last drop. Hello there, everybody. This is Mel Allen, welcoming you all to the pregame show. We're here in the clubhouse right now, talking with the Long Island Bucks third baseman, Monty Miller. Hey, Monty, how you feeling? Oh, I feel good, Mel. Uh, I'm in good shape. I've been working out during the winter, and uh, we're all looking forward to a big season this year. Tell me, that infield of yours has been together for quite a long time now. Well, I was sort of wondering if you'd mind running them down for the fans. Oh, sure thing, Mel. At first base, we have big left-hand hitting Artie Levitas. Has anybody seen my hat? You put it in the cupboard. No, I didn't. You did. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. You did, too. Did you do it? Oh, Vince, eat you with Tina. Don't you want to grow up big and strong like Daddy? I want to have hair. Is there gas in the car? Enough to get us there. I'll borrow a couple of bucks at the game. Lisa, my hat is not to be used as a home for your hamsters. Is that clear? You did it. I knew you did. You, you did it. Did you did it. Did you at second base, we have our team captain, Bucky Frisch. Jay? I think it would be a good idea to make a last-minute equipment check.
I don't know why you drag him to the games. He doesn't get anything out of them. What are you talking about? He was thrilled when I made him equipment manager. He loves baseball. Jay, make sure there's an extra catcher's mitt in there. Uh, which one's the catcher mitt? At shortstop, we have the smooth, rangy Lou Buonanato. Holy jeez, look at the time. What are you doing? Sorry, doll, but I gotta go. Where? A funeral. A funeral? Yeah, Reggie Jackson's cousin died. I'll call you later. Just let yourself out, okay? You're going to a funeral like that? It's a theme funeral. Reggie wanted it that way. And of course, at the hot corner, yours truly. Well, that's it, Mel, the million dollar infield. You know, Monty, we of course were all stunned by the news of your catcher, Marty Kampen's untimely death. Yeah, Mel, it was a shock to the sports world and the dentistry profession. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. I have to urinate. How come you don't go wee-wee like other eight-year-olds? You're not supposed to wear your baseball cleats inside the house. They put the pile on a carpet. Thank you, Aaron. Don't tell your mother. Don't worry, I won't. Luke! Hey, Josh, how's it going? Join with me. Together we will fight the force. Some other time, Doc. Marsha, I'm going. Okay, have a nice time. Aren't you coming? You know, it's no fun for me to sit and watch you play softball. I thought you liked it, chatting with the girls. No. Besides, I have a class. On Sunday? Since when? You taking the boys? Uh, no, no. Uh, uh, Josh is going over to Paul Schindler's to play Space Invaders, and I think Ari plans on spending the day mastering quantum mechanics. So, uh, I guess I'll see you after the game. Okay. Have a nice time. Bye. This is Mel Allen, coming to you live from Memorial Field, right here in Greatland. The weatherman's been mighty kind to us for opening day, which fits Cooper's roofing and tile, a perennial powerhouse, and the Long Island Bucks, led by home run king, Monty Miller. Hi, Rochelle. Hi, Carol. Hey, Buck. Hey, how you doing? Okay. Oh, you're scary! Oh, you're scary! Oh, you're scary! Oh, yeah! Woo-wee! Here we go. Here we go. Oh, all right. All right. Woo-wee! Who are these guys? That's our team. Our team? Where's, where's Jeffy, Ben Sloan, all the guys? You heard about Marty, right? Yeah, I still can't believe it. Yeah, me neither. Hey, stay with it, Tony! Good hose. I thought the bypass was successful. Yeah, it seemed that way. You never know. Anyway, I figured I had to replace Marty. Might as well get rid of the whole outfield. You have something against having a winning team for once? No, no, I just hate that Marty had to die for it to happen. Hey, hey that, that guy looks familiar. You ever see those Mr. Pizza Guy commercials? That's Mr. Pizza Guy himself, Sal Amatola. You're kidding. Yeah, yeah, I see him all the time on Channel 11. That's him, huh? You're kidding. Is he, he's on our team? That, I, that guy... Monty, Monty, don't treat him like a celebrity. He came here to play ball. Ladies, bring it in, guys. Get some infield, all right? Where are you going? I gotta tell Ro to call my service. It could be an emergency. What kind of an emergency can a CPA have? Let the games begin. You're late, Lou. Something came up. Get some infield, all right? You got it. 
Look at this field. Hey, Lou. Hey, big guy. How's your mother? Not so good. Oh, geez, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's tearing me up. I can't keep my mind on anything else. Whoa. Look at the tush on Calandro's girl. Okay, let's get one. All right, Mike. Good luck. Good luck. Skip's got nothing on us, baby. Come on, Skip. Let's go for two. Two. Whoa. Yeah. All right. Fuck the rule. All right. Guys, come on. Listen up. Hey, guys, come on. Yeah. Listen up. You all know that Marty Kaplan won't be behind the plate for us this year. In his memory, I propose that we dedicate the season to him. What do you say? Yeah. Yeah. What do you say? Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. Let's win it for Marty, all right? Come on! Yeah. A couple of beers? No, I can't, Lou. Marsh is expecting me. Ah, uh, you married guys. Come on. Just won't be in a celebrate. I'm buying. You're buying? Yeah. Sounds like you're begging me. No, no, I'm not begging you. I'm buying. All right, all right. Just one, though. We played tough today, huh? I haven't seen you in here in a while. Uh, I was down in Orlando. I took the wife and kids to Disney World, and I've been busy since we got back. Don't be such a stranger. Um, what? You. What do you gotta bring up your wife and kids for? What? I think she's got eyes for the big guy. Oh, come on. Come on with. Oh, look at the time. I said one beer. I still have to stop at the flower store. You still buy Marshall flowers when we went? Yeah, it's a tradition. That's beautiful. Mm. Come on, one more beer. All right, one more, but that's it. Millie! Sometimes I wish I could find somebody to get married to. Move back to Great Neck, buy flowers. I mean, for my mother's sake, it would put her mind at ease. But somehow I just can't seem to stay interested in one girl long enough. You ever think maybe you're gay? Get out of here, me! Sure, sure, you got all the signs. All this fooling around could be overcompensation for latent gayness. You're crazy. Why would you say something like that? You know I hate that faggy stuff. He's just joking. Well, that's a hell of a thing to joke about. I better call Marsha. Mm -hmm. She's probably wondering where I am.
jukebox things. No Frankie Valley. Did you get it? No, she wasn't home. What did you mean before when you said I got all the signs? I was kidding. I know. Well, what are you doing? What's the big deal? Seriously. Do I have a half fake gestures? Urban cowboy, please get us bike out of the house. Me? Are you talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Hey! I will fight you, Southpaw! Because of the investment. You know, Southpaw, South Jersey. You know, Southpaw. Money is. I did. Ow! Mama! Josh! Watch 60 minutes. It's just yeah, like the news. Daddy likes it. Yeah? Do I hate it? That's because you're a million dollars from a series of New York Mommy, call me Philistine. Aaron, don't call your brother Philistine. Hey, 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 what, what is this? Cut it out. You're both acting like children. We are children. Whoa. Keep it up. It started in this unimpressive building on the island. Oh, look at this. It started. What did I miss? Only the part where they tell you what's going to be on and the clock ticks. The only good part. This is where every day. Alright. You're all dusty. We won. Great. I'm sorry I'm late. Uh, Lou wanted company. I, I called, but there was no answer. I stayed late at class. Yeah, I, I figured. Hey, uh, aren't you going to put these in water? Oh, yeah, sure. Here. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys. The drafts were then you see this pizza we're eating? It stinks. I like the skinny kind. Yeah, but that's not the point. You know that guy on Channel 11 who does those commercials, the Mr. Pizza guy? He's the new pitcher on our softball team. Huh? How about that? Mr. Pizza Guy himself. We're eating his very pizza right now. It still stinks. None of what we've shown you in this report was illegal at the time it happened. She got 16 french fries. I only got 12. He don't count. You ate four years already. Regulations banning automatic rollover certificates. But there are 49 other states. And other practices like open counter signing. Can't go on like this. Don't worry. We can call my brother. Hey, Rochelle, don't start again with your brother in Arkansas. We're not leaving Great Neck. Now watch Harry Reasoner and Shah. Grant, a little office on the island of Curacao. Across a rugged African savanna, bird-like cries erupt. Cheetah cubs, sounding like baby robins, announce their feeding time. Their meal is only moments away. Maybe some other camp. Right, Jay? Where the emphasis isn't so much on sports? I thought he liked it when we went up there. Until it killed nah. The cheetah mother gets one. Why not? The guys are too rough. She will take off That's ridiculous. What are you, a sissy? Okay. Yes. I'm a sissy. I didn't excuse you. You're excused. Maybe you better go talk to him. Once he gets settled in, he'll be the roughest guy up there. Bucky! What? I'll talk to him later. He'll be all right. I've got some work I brought home from the office. I need it for tomorrow. Some back to ancient keys. It's filed, carved in stone. The Peter.
It's a new league record, a smash hit for Pete. Star-studded innings and fresh beginnings on This Week in Baseball. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is him. She... When? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. What was that? It was the hospital. Anything wrong? Seems my mother died. Is there any more extra crunchy? You coming to bed? Oh, yeah, I know what. Could you bake a better cake than a pastry chef? I really didn't know, but I do know how good my Duncan Hines cakes are. So I agreed to test one against a cake baked by Chef David of San Francisco's famous Canlis restaurant. My cake looked good, but the judge was Chris Canlis, the owner of the restaurant. That was Chef David's cake. It's tasty, but the texture is a little bit, a little bit dry. Then he tried mine. Good flavor, moist, very good. That's a great cake. Duncan Hines. <laughs> I think that's an exceptional cake. That's all a cake ought to be. Duncan Hines cakes. So moist and delicious, you can make them better than a pastry chef's cake. It's very good, nice and moist, and I'm going to have you be my baker. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry, I haven't dated in 30 years. Neither has he. But what can I wear? This will look good. But it's dirty. Only until it's washed with all temperature chair and warm water. Warm? I can't wear a half-washed blouse. Use hot. I'm using cooler water now, and that's what chair cleans in. See? Hot, warm, cold. Chair is tough on dirt and cooler temperatures. I hope so. I haven't stood up a date in 30 years. Well... You're beautiful. Cheers, terrific in warm water. Everything looks nice. It'll be like 30 years ago. Not quite. Now you can show him pictures of your grandchildren. <gasps> All temperature cheer. Tough on dirt in today's cooler temperatures. I want to show you the car that stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the imports and outsold every one. Ford Escort. Now Escort comes with Ford Care coverage. Ford Care means for two years, virtually all you pay for is gas. Not one red cent for scheduled maintenance or repairs. Hey, that's big. Plus, Ford kicks in cash to help with the down payment. Hundreds in cash. Escort. Cash. Coverage that's the closest thing to cost-free driving. That's strong. That's Ford. We now return to the Million Dollar Enfield, starring Rob Reiner and Bonnie Bedelia. There was something I wanted to ask you, but it slipped my mind. Oh, yeah. Could you loan me 10,000 bucks? That slipped your mind? Yeah, I wouldn't ask you, but it's just for a few days while we wait for this Arab thing to close. Ali, I don't have that kind of money. 
Why don't you ask Bucky? Hey, I got my pride. With me, you're not proud? We're close, sir. I can't get close to Bucky. What are you talking about? He was the best man at your wedding. That was then. How about your father? Oh, you? no, 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 no. That would be very uncomfortable. Well, I could understand if you were asking for yourself, but for a friend. What do you say? All right, I'll see what I can do. More steam. More steam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> $10,000. Yeah, he's in a bit of a jam. He's in a bit of a jam. I'll tell you what he's in. He's in some very deep trouble with some very bad people. That's what Oh, he's no, in. no. Harry, I, I don't think so. Well, you don't think so? I know so. And do yourself a favor. Don't ask me how I know so. All right, well, he asked me to ask. I asked. Money, I'm surprised that you letting him put you in that position. Schmo. Harry, don't call me that. He's my friend. Now, now I gotta be the bad guy who refuses just so you can say you helped a friend. Schmo! I forget I asked, okay? No. No, it's not okay. Look, have I ever... Money, don't bend the paper clips. Have I ever refused you anything when it came to your wife or your family? No, Harry, you've always been more than generous. Haven't I always? Money... Put down the rubber bands, will you? Haven't I always made sure you had security? Would you even have a good job like this if it wasn't for me? Schmo! How the boys? They're fine. Money. I feel very fortunate that my daughter's married to somebody like you. Thanks, Harry. Of course, I feel fortunate my daughter's married, period. <laughs> I gotta go. So, what's the matter? Nothing. Okay. Can a daughter just want to have lunch with her mom? Sure. And can a mother notice that her daughter just put sugar in her tomato juice? Oh. What's the matter, honey? I've decided to go back to art school full time. I think that's wonderful. How does Monty feel about it? We haven't talked about it. How come? I don't know. We don't seem to say much of anything to each other lately. I thought you two were able to talk. Oh, sure. We talk arrangements. When will you be home? Where should we go on vacation? What do the kids want for Christmas? What do they want for their birthday? Who's going to pick the laundry up? We're just taking up space in the same house. That's part of being married. Your father and I have made an art out of taking up space. No, we used to be on the same team. We pulled for each other. We wanted to take chances with our lives. Monty wanted to be a journalist. I know. But he makes a good living. I hate it. I'm sorry, I hate that he works for Daddy. $75,000 a year you hate? I hate what he has to do for it. What? He has to lease cars. He has to eat dirt. Anyway, it's not just him. I'm not doing anything with my life either. What are you talking about? You have two beautiful boys. I know that. And I love them. It's not enough. You paint? Great. The bored, dilettante housewife. Last Sunday, when Monty was playing ball, I went to my art teacher's house to discuss some of my paintings. I started crying. So he put his 
his arms around me and then all of a sudden we were kissing and then oh ma How's the Everhart portfolio coming? Oh, I'm on top of it, Dad. Well, let's stay with it. I want it in the Faust to Chicago tonight. Enid, would you read back what we have so far, please? Things to work on at tonight's practice. One, the hit and run. Two, the hook slide. Three, outfielders hitting the cutoff man. Was that cutoff man with a hyphen, Mr. Fish? Yes. Yes. Do you know how many games we lost last year because we didn't hit the cutoff man? I can imagine. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Big guy. I'm coming up. No, I'll come down. <laughs> Thanks for meeting me. Yeah, well, when you called, uh, are you all right? Oh, yeah, fine. How was the funeral? It was nice. There was this chick there. They said she was a second cousin of mine. She was wearing one of those black dresses with the long slit up the thigh. She was the best thing at the funeral. How's your stepfather taking it? Not so good. He died this afternoon. You're kidding me. No. Heart attack. When we were driving away from the cemetery, his funeral's a Saturday. I don't know what to say. What can you say? I hope that second cousin of mine will be there. Uh, listen, Lou, uh, why don't you come over for dinner tonight? No, Maybe no, you shouldn't no. be alone. Oh, that's all right. I'm fine. I'm fine. We had some good times around here, didn't we? Yeah. Remember Bunny Ghosty? Are you kidding? How could I forget her? Yeah. I wanted to marry that chick in the worst way. Only her parents didn't approve of me. They hated you. Yeah, but I've changed a lot since then, don't you think? Yeah, well... I'm gonna find Bunny and I'm gonna marry her. She's already married. For all we know, she's divorced. For all we know, she's happy. We'll see how happy she is after I talk to her. She don't even know where she is. Your wife was a good friend of her. Well, I wouldn't say good friend. Well, maybe she could help me track her down. Look, Lou, why don't you come over for dinner? No. Really, I'm fine. You got a good life, Monty. A great wife, two beautiful kids. Sometimes I envy you. Yeah, well. I'm glad we got a game tomorrow. Yeah, me too. You guys coming with me to the game? Well, we don't think it's good for you or for there. Why not? Sometimes you try too hard to impress us and you mess up. Oh. Well, uh, okay, uh, I guess I'll see you guys later then? Yeah. Okay, so long. Bye-bye. Are you still here? Yeah, I want to talk to you. I, I thought you had art class. I'm not going. I think it's more important that we talk. Well, honey, can't it wait till later? I have a game. I have to get going. I think we should separate. I think that we need some time away from each other. Hungry? Aren't you? Aren't you hungry? Come on. You like a sizzling whopper, flame broiled hot with melted cheese, veal parmesan with mozzarella, chicken like you please. Aren't you home? Aren't you? Aren't you hungry? Aren't you hungry for Burger King now? Aren't you hungry? 
the Sears National Home Furnishing Sale. Choose from hundreds of items at reduced prices and special purchases, too. Pay just $89.88 for this twin-size mattress or box spring. Compare to Sears' $169.99 mattress with identical construction. Only the cover and the price are different. Just $89.88 twin. $299.88 queen-size set. $399.88 king-size set. For home furnishing values, you can count on Sears. Stop complaining and put your throat on nice. Ice? For a sore throat and cough? No, nice. The new sugarless cough lozenge. It makes you feel good two ways. Nice soothes minor sore throat pain and cough due to throat irritation with a shower of cool menthol for temporary relief. And it feels slickery. Slickery? Yeah, it's smooth and cool. Feels slickery and I feel better. New sugarless nice. Put your throat on nice. Chapped. Sore. Red. Here's relief for every major dry skin symptom. Broad spectrum relief in new Vaseline Dermatology Formula Lotion. This remarkable new lotion was tested with dermatologists with impressive results. Under a microscope, white lines show severely dry skin. In four days with Vaseline Dermatology Formula, skin looks normal and healthy. And I don't need a microscope to see it. New Vaseline Dermatology Formula. Broad spectrum relief for every major dry skin symptom. We will return to the television premiere of The Million Dollar Enfield. On the CBS Wednesday Night Movies, Betty Davis stars in a piano for Mrs. Cimino. They called her senile and put her away. I am not a child. Can she rebuild her life? It's February fireworks Thursday for Magnum when a stolen necklace and two beautiful women have Magnum head over heels in trouble. Then a two-hour dramatic special, one of the most powerful and heroic love stories of all time. Anthony Hopkins is the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Catch February fireworks Thursday. This is CBS. Dotson's got a diesel. Dotson's got a diesel. Dotson's got a diesel. Presenting the new Dotson diesel, a tough half ton with the kind of durability and mileage you expect from a diesel and more range than any Dotson ever. I'm going to run out of road before this Dotson runs out of fuel. See the Dotson long bed, exclusive king cab, and the affordable little hustler. Dotson, we are. What you are looking at is completely new. It has no cholesterol, only 25 calories a strip, and it's not bacon. Introducing Lean Strips. Lean Strips sizzle and smell and taste like bacon, yet they're made with soybeans, egg whites, and wheat. So they have no cholesterol and only 25 calories a strip. So if you're a bacon lover, rejoice. Kings versus the Whalers, the action at 11. We now return to the Million Dollar Infield, starring Rob Reiner and Bob Costanzo. Yes? Who? Oh, yes. Yes, oh, okay, I'll get him. One moment. It's him again. Who? The one with the voice that sounds like a stop smoking ad. Oh. Who is he, Artie? What does he want? Nothing, nothing. Nothing? Why does he keep saying you're going to get a headache? Maybe he's a pharmacist. I don't know. What's going on, Artie? Nothing. We're shoving you. Just relax. <clears throat> hello? Yeah, hello, Vince. Yeah, I know what I said, but I need a couple of more days. Oh, no, uh, I wouldn't want something like that to happen. Y you can count on me, Vince. Thanks for calling. Who's Vince? Nothing. Forget it. It's just business. Forget it. Okay. Not now. 
Bucky, Bucky, I, I have to talk to you about Jay. Carol, can we talk about this tonight? I'll be late for work. He just showed me a note he was sent home from school with yesterday. They've suspended him. What for? They caught him in the bathroom with another boy. Oh, my God. Taking quaaludes. Is that all you can say? No. I'm shocked. It's terrible. They want to see us in school today. Today? Oh, that's great, Carol. I have a board meeting today. That clinches it. He's going to that camp whether he likes it or not. Bucky. B Bucky, I, I am a nervous wreck over this, and, and I only have one Valium left. Maybe Jay can get you some. Hello, Mrs. Goldstein. This is Louis Buonanato. Yeah, you remember, we used to live in the same neighborhood in Great Neck. Yeah, my mother and stepfather used to run the pharmacy. That's right, Amundo and Tessie, that's it. Well, as a matter of fact, they're not doing so good right now, Mrs. Goldstein. They're dead. Yeah. Thank you. Me too. I would have invited you to the funeral, dear heart, but uh, I just got your number. Which reminds me, uh, I'm trying to get in touch with Bunny. No, no. <laughs> Hold on, Mrs. Goldstein. No, I'm not gonna bother her. I wanna marry her. Mrs. Goldstein. Mi We're leaving for school now, Dad. Yeah, okay. Uh, wait, 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 uh, did, did you have breakfast? Yeah, I had sir. Yeah, what about your brother? All he wanted was coffee. Says he's putting on weight. What could he weigh, 53? Mom slept in the den last night. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, how come? Well, she, uh, she has a cold. She didn't want to spread the germs. But I haven't heard her sneeze or anything. Well, she, uh, she doesn't want to worry us. Uh, come on. Better get going. Be late for school. Do we have sugar substitute? Come here, you. You better not get any skinnier. I need every pound for hugging. Get over here. Daddy, you're giving Josh a sibling rivalry. Sibling rivalry? Huh? I'll give you. Get over here. You come in here. Bang. Daddy, there's something wrong between you and Mommy, isn't there? Uh, no, no, there's nothing wrong, boys. Now, come on, let's get going. You guys are going to be late for school. Come on, let's go. Let's go. The kids know what's going on. Well, do you think it's healthy for them to see us sleeping apart? No. Well, we're not going to separate just because things haven't been perfect for a couple of weeks. Oh, come on. It's not just a couple of weeks. We don't even touch each other anymore. We haven't made love in four months. We're in a little slump. We'll come out of it. We just got to get our timing back, that's all. This isn't a softball game. Uh, I, I know. It's just that we, we've been through times like this before. We'll, we'll get past it. We always do. I'm having an affair. I'm sorry, Monty. I thought you should know. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm glad you told me. Do you love him? I don't know. Well, when you know, you, you let me know, huh? because I have a mild interest. 
I'm really sorry, Monty. Not more than me, Marsha. Not more than me. upstairs with the kids. Will you let me go? Let me go! You're not going anywhere! Good. Why don't you hit me while you're at it? Don't hit her! Please, Daddy! Don't hit Mommy! Aaron, I, I didn't hit her. Boys, I would never hit your mother. What the hell's going on here? I, I gotta get out of here. What was I doing there? What kind of a masochist am I? Kind of talks to himself. I just, just calm down. Just calm down. Take it easy. Just taking a drive. Thinking things out, that's all. Just think. Don't be an idiot. What's the point? This is ridiculous. She's probably waiting for me to call. Just talk. And work it out. Hello? Hi, uh, Marsha, I think we should talk. I have nothing to say to you. What was wrong? Come on, come on, you can do it, come to daddy. Good girl. Come on, pumpkin, bath time. Wow, the baby 
baby's still a baby, you really need Lysol spray. Lysol disinfectant spray eliminates odors in the air, keeps the whole room smelling fresh and clean. And nothing kills household germs on surfaces better. Guess who made your room so nice and fresh? Dada. While the baby's still a baby, you really need Lysol spray. Herman Lay didn't please every farmer he met. Herman, I said. A potato is a potato. And? I said, mine weren't firm enough. Oh, he's a picky man. Makes a tasty chip, though. Then Herman Lay set out to breed better potatoes. Darn foolishness. He's a picky man. Makes a tasty chip, though. Today, Lay's is America's best-selling potato chip. Herman Lay knows why. We start with great potatoes. Lay's, grown to be America's favorite. This is the mascara a cover girl demands. Cover girl professional mascara. There's no mascara like it. Look, the brush, professional. Curved like your lash line. Curved to curl and define perfectly. The formula, professional. To lengthen and build lavishly with no fibers and no mess. The look, 100% professional. For the look cover girls demand, get cover girl professional mascara. The country that just built the world's fastest train also builds the world's best-selling front-wheel drive car, Renault Le Car. From the French who can give you comfort at 230 miles per hour comes exceptional ride, handling, and interior room in Renault Le Car. So why drive an ordinary car when you can have this extraordinary car at a most extraordinary price, under $5,000? Le Car by Renault, where great engineering lives in great design for under $5,000 at Renault and American Motors dealers. We will return to the television premiere of The Million Dollar Infield. It's February fireworks on Friday when Moss oh, sits on a shot of truth serum. Give me an antidote. Or I'm rude. Next, J.R. finds Cliff spent the night with Sue Ellen. You're jealous right out of your cotton-picking gourd. Then Emma's pregnant, but Lance fears another error might take his place at Falcon Crest. Catch February fireworks Friday. Gene Wilder, Richard Pryor, Is it over? and Jill Clayburgh are very funny together in the Silver Street, Saturday night. This is CBS. Coming February 4th to brand new Bullock stores. Beverly Center and Manhattan Beach. Bullock's, California. What a beautiful way to live. Beautiful fashion, cool and easy. Elegant styling, classic tailoring. Beautiful dining your way. Beautiful images, California impressions. Beautiful you, living California your way. At Beverly Center and Manhattan Beach, February 4th. Come to Bullock's, California. What a beautiful way to live. It's easy to play McDonald's new menu music chant quiz game. You can win great McDonald's food or MCA's great hits record. Play menu music chant at McDonald's. Good evening. A quick detour to Havana is over tonight for 76 of the 77 people on board a hijacked Air Florida flight. Once in Havana, Cuban authorities removed the hijacker. The other passengers, the crew, and the plane have now arrived back in Florida. In Los Angeles, a judge has decided porno film star John Holmes must stand trial for the four Hollywood Hills killings known as the Wonderland Murders. And another judge decides the second NFL Oakland Raiders antitrust trial must be held in Los Angeles. Repossessing cars by force tomorrow at 6. We now return to the Million Dollar Enfield, starring Rob Reiner and Christopher Guest. Uh, hey, Audie, can I stay at your place a couple of days? Are you and Marsha having problems? Not now, Artie. I'm up. Well, of course you can, Mon. I just don't know where you're going to sleep. Hey, Monty, come on. Let's go. Don't you have the sofa? I sold it last week. You can use the army cot. The kids will double up. Labo! You sure it's all right? Because I don't want to put anybody out. No problem. We'd love to have you. Thanks. Yeah. I appreciate it. Let's go. Hey, Hiya. Hi. What's the matter, Snoopy? I think I'm having illusions of grandeur. 
illusions of grandeur, huh? Come over here. What you're talking about? What do you mean? I was playing with Davy. Yeah, it's under cat. I was making believe I was his father. Are you crying? A little bit. But it's a good kind. You cry a lot, don't you? Oh, I think I'm somewhere around the national average. Aaron, sweetheart, why don't you go upstairs and wash up? Your grandma will make you a grilled cheese. Okay. Okay. They miss their father. I feel so... I know. No, you don't. I do. Well, how could you possibly know? I know. <sighs> Thirty years ago, when you were very little, your father and I were having trouble. You had an affair? His name was Sammy. He had been a member of this communist group. You had an affair with a communist? An ex-communist. We were picketing against the House Un-American Activities Committee. One thing led to another. Did Daddy ever find out? No. He never knew. So what happened? Nothing, really. We went our separate ways. I guess it was just something I had to go through. I promised Aaron a grilled cheese. So you had an affair with a communist? An ex-communist. Hello, Monty. How are you? Hi, Ma. I'm, I'm fine. I'm oh, Marsha. How you doing? You unravel all the mysteries of the universe today? Yeah. Good. Come on, sweetie, let's have lunch. I wish you wouldn't do that. What? Make all those little remarks to him that you think are so clever. What are you talking about? He's a little boy. He thinks you're making fun of him. Look, Marsha, I didn't come here to get into anything with you. I just came by to pick up a few things. I'm moving into Artie's tonight. Oh, yeah? I hope that meets with your approval. Don't be cute with me. Well, I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to be. I mean, this is not exactly the easiest thing in the world for me, coming into my own home like some damn stranger. Will you lower your voice? Why? What are you going to do? You're going to punish me? You're going to make me stay at other people's houses? Why don't you just get your things and go? Fine. I will. How's your boyfriend? I don't have to listen to this. No? Then how about this? Go to hell. So what happened to you kids? Well, I... Vance took my tooth. Out of your head? No, out of the soda bottle I was watching it rot in. Don't worry, sweetheart. You'll have plenty more teeth you can watch rot. Say hello to your Uncle Monty. Hello, Uncle Monty. Hi, Lisa. I heard you and Mrs. Mueller split up. Uh, go watch TV, dear. Okay. Good news travels fast. So what's going on? I don't know. Maybe Marsha's going through a... I was watching those amazing animals, and then Lisa comes in and changes it to a rerun of Hogan's Heroes. Let her watch. You had your choice last night. Guy, I hate Nazis. They're not funny. I think I'm gonna go for a little walk. Sure, sure. Take a walk. Yeah, yeah best thing. Uh, we'll talk later. It's a madhouse around here. Yeah. Say, Mont, do me a favor. Take out the garbage. It'll make you feel at home. Thanks, Artie. I appreciate it. Hey. I'm not Artie. Uh, you guys are making a big mistake. Oh! Gee, stop! I'm 
so glad you came through with Monty. Yeah, well, uh, things got a little rough at Artie's. Yeah. Bucky and I went through a real rough period there for a while. Yeah, but you get over it. Things couldn't be better between us now. You have something to say, Jay? Yes. I wish I were dead. More potatoes, Monty. Lou, I appreciate you letting me stay here. Hey, buddy. You're my buddy. I see you got the same decor, early Chinese laundry. Yeah, it's the major day off. Come on, make yourself at home, wise guy. Okay. You know, Monty, I thought if there was one relationship in the world the guy could count on, it was you and Marsha. Sorry to let you down. You didn't let me down. Just a little surprise, that's all. Listen, I'm going to go over to Maxwell's and look for a little action. You want to come? Nah, nah, I, I don't think so. I don't feel like it. Me out to the ball game. Yeah. Me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. Big guy. What? You gotta do me a favor. What time is it? One, one thirty, what's the difference? Oh, Lou, for crying out loud, it's after three o'clock in the morning. Hello. Hi. Monty Miller, I'd like you to meet Cherry Dix. Monty, could you leave the apartment for about an hour? Yeah, okay. What am I supposed to do? Make that a half hour, please, Marty. Yes. Do me a favor. All right. Columbus Avenue. What are you doing? I want to come home. It's three o'clock in the morning. Oh, well, when would be a good time? What? Marsha, please don't make me beg. I'm sorry. I'll wait up. Thanks. I'll be right there. Okay. Bye. Bye. I missed you so much. Did you miss me? Yeah. I didn't think I would, but I guess I did. What do you mean you guess? No, I did. Things are going to be so good between us again. We just needed that time to get back on the right track. Things are back on the right track now, aren't they? Yeah. I didn't like that year. No, they're back on the right track. Marsha, if, if you don't feel that things are back on the right track, you don't have to say things are back on the right track. Don't you feel things are back on the right track? I don't know. What, what don't you know? We just made love better than we ever have. 
Yeah, I know. Well? Well? Wes. What? Wes. Well, I, I don't trust it. You don't trust it? What do you, you don't what do you mean you don't trust it? I don't trust that one great sexual experience is just going to magically um, change everything around for us. Why not? Sometimes hitting one out of the park and start you on a whole new hot streak. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bad it's baseball analogies is very bad. I don't know. I just don't know if uh, we've really faced anything. Well, what are you talking about? We're facing things, let's face things. But, Monty, you don't just say we're going to face things and then we face things. Well, Marsha, I don't know what the hell you want. Stop yelling. I'm not yelling. Yes, you are. It's him, isn't it? No. You still want him, don't you? It's not that simple. You bet it's not that simple. There is nothing simple about being married to one man and having an affair with another. I think we could safely call that complex. What's that? Sounds like Dad. Let's go. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Will you calm down? Don't tell me to calm down. I must be some kind of an idiot to come back here. Where are you going? What the hell's the Daddy, difference? Daddy's home! Oh, I'm sorry, boys. I, I have to go. Where's Daddy going? I don't know. Come on, let's go back to bed, huh? Sure was a short visit. Brenda Vaccaro for Playtex Tampons. If I was the mother of a teenager, I'd tell her to buy Playtex Tampons. You know why? Playtex is a comfortable tampon, and it has a plastic applicator instead of cardboard. I think that's important. That unique double layer design, only Playtex has that. And no other tampon, not one of them, can beat Playtex as a tampon protection. That's good to know. My daughter, my advice. Playtex tampons or Playtex deodorant tampons. No other tampon can beat them. What others don't do for a cold, Comtrex does. Dristan didn't relieve my cough, but Comtrex does. Contact didn't do anything for my aches, pains, and fever, but Comtrex does. Bear didn't help my nasal congestion, runny nose, or coughing, but Comtrex does. They switched because none of these relieve a cold the way Comtrex does. All by itself, Comtrex multi-symptom cold reliever gives more kinds of relief than Dristan or Contact or Bayer. What others don't do for a cold, Comtrex does. Can an American driving machine outdistance every Datsun on the highway? If we put a gallon of gas in every Datsun, and in the 1982 Dodge Omni Miser, one by one, every Datsun would run out. But Omni Miser would keep driving with the best highway mileage of any five-passenger American car and the lowest price. At $54.99, the base model 82 Dodge Omni Miser doesn't cost a dollar more this year than the end of last year. Get a car, get a check. $300 to 1000 on other select new Dodges. Ask participating dealers for full details. What's in this little blue egg that keeps Barbara Eden looking slim and trim? Ooh, there's only one answer to that. It's Legs Control Top Pantyhose. See, Legs slims and trims but doesn't bind. So you get comfort and control. Stretching. Now return to the Million Dollar Enfield, starring Rob Reiner and Bruno Kirby. Well, I, I don't know why I'm here. I mean, Rochelle Levita said you helped her through a series of miscarriages. She said you might be able to help me, but as you can see, I'm not even pregnant. I was just joking. But really, there's, there's nothing really wrong with me. I mean. I like myself. I've got a good job, two great kids. I'm not an alcoholic. I don't take drugs. I'm not a homosexual. Well, maybe latent, but they say everybody's a little bit, right? So, uh, I really don't know what to talk about. And why did you come here? I don't know. I really don't know. I noticed you didn't mention you had a wife. Well, of course I have a wife. I, I told you, I have two kids. How could I not have a wife? There are ways of having children and not having a wife. 
What, you mean like divorced? Or deceased. Well, my wife's not dead and we're not divorced. We're separated. But, but that's, that's not why I'm here. I mean, we're, we're going to get back together again. We just needed some time away from each other, that's all. Well, I don't... I don't know what else to say. Anything you want. How long have you and your wife been separated? A little over a week. Is your wife with the children, or are you? She is. Why? I'm just trying to get a picture of what's going on. Marsha's uh, been home. I've I've been staying at friends, but it got awkward, so now I have a place on a month-to-month -month basis. It, until we get back together again, which I'm sure will be soon. But that's up to her. Why is it up to her? She's having an affair. Aren't you going to say anything? What do you want me to say? Well, that, that, that she's wrong, that she's, she's being irresponsible, that she's hurting the children. Is that how you feel? Well, sure, don't you? I don't know enough about your situation. <laughs> what do you have to know? I mean, we've been married for 12 years. Everything's going along fine, and all of a sudden, out of the blue, she starts having an affair. You had no indication? No. Well, sex life hasn't been that great lately, but like I say, we've been married for 12 years. You can't expect it to... I mean, we've been through periods like this before, and we always seem to pull out of it. I, I just don't understand why she... She would... I don't know. Do you want to get back with her? Well, sure. I mean, not while she's... But, but if she stopped, I would. I guess. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, sure, I would, I would. I don't know. I don't know. Everything's so confusing. I, I I used to know exactly what was going on in my life. Now, I don't understand anything. I always thought everything in my life was set, you know, permanent. Now, now everything seems so temporary. I, I don't seem to be in control of anything. Time! 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 Right here, hold this. Hold out! What the hell were you doing? Why weren't you covering? Hey, come on, guys. Shake it off. We can still win. Why did you throw the first base? That was my only play. Nobody covering? Where's your head? My head? You weren't on the base. Hey, take it easy, Monty. I'll stuff it, will you? I'll tell you where your head is, pal. With the ten grand, you owe that gangster. What? Yeah, at least my wife isn't making it with some other guy. What? Hey, come on, you. Come on, you. Come on, you. Come on, Monty, come on. You're going nuts. You're the one who's nuts with an alcoholic for a wife and a kid that you couldn't care less about. Take it easy, take it easy. Come on, huh? We got a game to play here. Can't we just forget about this? Forget this? Is that what you want to do, Lou? Forget this? Because you're real good at it. What are you talking about? Why don't you wake up, pal? Your mother's dead, your stepfather's dead, Bunny Goldstein is married, and you are a fag bachelor. Well, that's real nice, Bunny. No, no, you come, come on. 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 Come like I'm, like I'm just drifting in space. There's, there's nothing to ground me. God, it's 
so awful. What can I do? We just have to work through it. We have to understand more about it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, as awful as it feels, uh, there's also a, a tremendous sense of freedom that comes with it. That's part of it. Yeah. yeah at times I, I feel like, like I can do almost anything. Realize what time it is? Where have you been? Not here. What are you talking about? What are you doing? Harry. Marsha and I have separated. You what? We have been for a couple of months. Does Sally know about this? I think so. Why didn't she tell me about it? I don't know. Maybe she was uh, afraid you'd get upset that you'd fire me or something. You don't have to worry because I quit. You what? I don't like working for you, Harry. I never have. In fact, I hate it. You're a nice father-in-law, but you're a rotten boss. Well, what are you going to do? I haven't the slightest idea. And then I left the office. Did that make you feel good? Yeah, I guess so, for the moment. I mean, you know, being able to stand up to him and everything, but it was also upsetting. Why do you think? Well, I guess I felt I was hurting him in some way. You probably were. Yeah. Yeah, ever, ever since my father died, Harry kind of t took over that role with me. I mean, they're, they're not at all alike. I mean, Harry's this very strong-willed, aggressive person. My father was much more sensitive. Must have felt very bad to you if you had to hurt your father, who probably couldn't take it the way you knew Harry could. I never would hurt my father. Did you ever want to? I don't know. No, no, I, I would never think of going against him. Were you afraid of what might happen? I guess so. But he died anyway. Did you notice that? Yes. What do you make of it? Uh, I made a fist when I mentioned my father being dead. I, I must be angry about it. I think there's more to it than that. Do you think there might also be a frustration attached? You mean a, a frustration at, at not being able to stand up to him? Possibly. Yeah. It's amazing. You know, all my life I, I've been afraid of taking chances and I, I wind up falling on my butt anyway. I mean, my father wound up dying anyway, didn't he? Yes. Introduces three adhesive strips. This is it. New Freedom is working to give you more. I wanted a maxi that really stays in place. Now New Freedom Maxi has three strips instead of two. This is it. Only New Freedom has rounded corners and tapered ends for comfort. New Freedom is working to give you more. Now it's even better. Rounded corners, tapered ends, and now three adhesive strips. New Freedom is working to give you more. A boy grows up, a man grows old, on Golden Pond. A mother cares, a daughter learns, on Golden Pond. Time passes, seasons change, joy is shared, tears are shed. Love and laughter and life go on, on Golden Pond. Catherine Hepburn, Henry Fonda, Jane Fonda, on Golden Pond, rated PG. Now playing at a theater near you.
Do you know me? I'm one of the biggest names on two wheels. Three wheels. And four wheels. But being a company president isn't a title you wear on your sleeve. That's why I carry the American Express card. With this, I'm treated like a big wheel. To apply for a card, look for this display wherever the card is welcomed. The American Express card. Don't leave home without it. This is the soft, pure light of the GE soft white bulb. It creates a soft, warm glow that's beautiful to see by and bright enough to work by with less glare and no harsh shadows because its high diffusion coating makes light that's soft, warm, glowing so you can see the world the way you want to see it. The soft white by GE. It puts your life in a better light. GE. We bring good things to life. Turn to the television premiere of the Million Dollar Infield. It's February fireworks when Jennifer tries to change Herb's image on WKRP. Then Brentwood's feuding folks pay a visit to the two of us. And on the CBS Wednesday night movies, Betty Davis stars in a piano for Mrs. Chimino. It's February fireworks Wednesday. You have questions. We're going after the answers on the CBS Evening News. This is CBS. He pulled my hair out. He came in the car, said, lady, I'll show you. Would you believe these people were assaulted by a licensed and respected auto repossessor? The people tend to exaggerate. Is it possible you could be abused in such a manner? Reporter Scott Osborne investigates one local repossessor accused of taking more than cards. Is he taking liberty with the law? Sign hit a guy with a ball bat once. I don't consider myself to be violent. Learn more weeknights at 6 on the Channel 2 News. The team to watch. Surprise, Jessica, I'm home! It's not what it looks like. Looks like lasagna to me. I thought we were on a diet. We still are. Weight Watchers? Jessica, don't try to fool me. Oh, think you know Weight Watchers? You ought to try it now. 19 new meals that are chunkier, spicier, saucier, and better than ever. Weight Watchers' new frozen meals. So good, you'd almost think you're cheating. Why didn't you tell me? You didn't ask. Mexico's Celebrity Panda, tomorrow at 7.30. We now return to the Million Dollar Infield, starring Rob Reiner. Miller, Monty Miller? Yeah, that's me. You're next. Come on in, please. Thank you. Uh, do you know what this job is? Yeah, I think so. It's hardly anything more than a glorified copy boy. I mean, <laughs> there's not much writing, and it's mostly college and high school events. Yeah, yeah, I figured. Well, it doesn't pay anything close to what you were making on your last job. Why don't I get the idea that you're trying to talk me out of this? Well, uh, this is a job for a kid just out of college. I mean, not for a grown man with a family and responsibilities. I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. I understand. Uh, listen, uh, I really want this job. I love sports. I know, but I... Ask me anything you want. The most consecutive games in the NBA, Harry Gallatin. The only midget ever to play in the major leagues, Eddie Goodell. Well, that's very nice. Uh, what do you want? Football? Football? Uh, Johnny Unitas' favorite receiver, had bad vision, wore contact lenses, Raymond Berry. Raymond Berry? Well, that brings back memories. Sure, you, you think those college kids are going to do that for you? Ask me anything you want. All right, a uh, Philly's first baseman. Shot in the room. hotel room, Eddie Wakis. The Heisman Trophy winners, 1950, Vic Janowitz, 51, Dick Kazmaier, 52, Billy Vessels, uh, 53, Johnny Latner. You oh. want more recent? John Hewitt, Jim Plunkett, Gary Beban, Pat Sullivan. Hold uh, 
I'm sorry, but uh, I'm afraid you folks can all go home now. There's a knot in here who already has a job. Hey, this is a great garbage disposal. Well, you have a garbage disposal at home. Yeah, but that's Mom's. This one's yours. That's neat. Little things mean a lot to him. You think that's neat? You should see the vacuum cleaner I have with all the attachments. Yeah? And you know, I bet you don't even need a wife at all. So, how's the summer been going? Good. Now, I think everything's gonna work out just fine. You think so? Yeah. I like it here. You seem nicer. You mean nicer than when I'm with Mom? Yeah, you're more yourself. Maybe it's better if you stay here. Come on, you guys, uh, eat up. We're gonna be late for the game. I didn't mean it, Daddy. I want you to come home. Come on, run upstairs and play. How can they? You sold all their toys. Don't be funny. Go on, go on. No, Rochelle. I didn't say anything. I am not going to work for your brother in Arkansas. But he really needs you, Artie. We can sell the house, pay off all those people with the sore throats. Arkansas, Rochelle, Arkansas, no way. I am not uprooting my family. You don't have to. It's being done for you. Ben? Uh, no, thanks. Uh, just half a grapefruit for me, Elena. Have to watch my schoolboy figure. So, how's Jay doing at camp? He you hates it. To... He's doing just fine. You made arrangements for Chicago this week? Mm-hmm. I'm sending Bernstein. Bucky, I think it's important for you to be there. Dad, if we win today, we play for the championship on Thursday. Good God. Where the hell is your sense of priorities? Bernstein can handle it. Bernstein is not going to handle it. You are going to Chicago. But, Dad... We're I... not discussing this any further, Bernard. What are you laughing at? Some little boys must go to camp. Some must go to Chicago. <laughs> Hello, Wall Residence. Is this Bunny? I, I mean, Bonita Wall? No, Mrs. Wall is no at home. But it is Bunny's house, right? See? Can you take a message, please? Okay, tell Bunny that Lou Buonanato called. That's B-U-O-N-O-N-N-A-T-O. -O -N -O -N tell her I got a number through Linda Cataldo's mother. She'll get a kick out of that. You writing this down? I remember. No, 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 you don't. Uh, look, just tell her that Lou called. Si, senor. Si, Lou. Uh, tell her that my number is uh, KL54049. You got that? Si. Okay. Muy bien, muy bien. Uh, oh, by the way, is Mr. Wall around? No, senor. Mr. Wall is dead. Dead? Well, that's wonderful. Isn't that terrific? He's dead. You! Masha? You! Hiya, honey. Where'd you get her in here? You come in? Just now. I thought we were going shopping today. Oh, God. I forgot about it. I'm sorry, Mom. You want some coffee? Uh, no coffee, Harry. The doctor says it's bad for your blood pressure. The doctor? 
But where are the boys? Well, they're spending the weekend with Monty. Uh, he wants some breakfast? Yeah, I'd now, like... We're not having anything, Harry. Why don't you go sit out in the backyard? Get outside. Doctor says that's good for you. I hate the doctor. Are you all right? Yeah, I guess so. The boy stayed with Monty. That's nice. I miss him. I really miss him. It's been so wonderful with the boys lately. Sometimes I, I wish I, what? I don't know. Stop seeing my teacher. That wasn't. I knew. You did. Sure. Why didn't you say something to me? Wouldn't have done any good. You had to come to that yourself. I'm back in therapy. Are you finding out what a crummy mother I was? <laughs> I love you, Mom. I love you, too. I have such a nice daughter. See you Thursday. Don't worry, Marty. They're gonna come to play. We're gonna win it for you. Let's go. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Hey, where are you going? How was your weekend? Oh, it was great. Hey, did you know my dad's got more vacuum cleaner attachments than you? Is that a fact? Yeah. And you know what? He also said we could stay over there for a weekend. All by myself. Just me and him. And that doesn't include a you-know-who. Ah, oh, you're so subtle. I told them they could each have a weekend. Oh. Oh, that sounds fair enough. Why don't you guys go wash up? I took three showers at my dad's house. How'd you accomplish that? Oh, uh, you know, it's always fun to use a strange shower. Uh, when you're a kid. Well, why don't you guys go wash up anyway? You look a little dirty. Can't you take care of I've got grown-up talk to do. Well, you're home. Yeah, you headed back? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> My dad came by today. Oh, yeah? How was Harry? He's fine. He asked about you. I can imagine what he asked. He must be really mad at me. No. Actually, he's never respected you as much as he does now. Really? Well, you know, not that many people stand up to him. Aside from Mom, look how long they've been together. Yeah, well... He wants you to call him. What for? 
I don't know. I think he wants to offer you your job back. You're kidding. He said that? Well, something to that effect. He also mumbled something about a raise and an expense account. I think he's going to throw some dancing girls in. <laughs> yeah, well, I uh, already have a job. You do? What? Yeah, I'm a sports writer for the journal. You're kidding. No. Yeah. That's terrific. That's what you always wanted. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not paying much, but I, I like it. Oh, money, that's great. That's... I, uh... I hear you're back with your doctor. Yeah. It's rough. Oh, God, I know. I guess I better get going. It's nice to see you. It's nice to see you too. Oh, bye. I will not move from this chair, ever. Mom, did you forget? Tonight's the chipmunk camp out, and you're Mother Monk. Come on. Mother Monk. <laughs> Ruth on. Brown needs Coast deodorant soap, the eye opener, with a light, fresh scent and creamy lather that feels good on the skin. A combination you wouldn't expect from a deodorant soap. Coast makes you feel more than clean. It actually brings you back to life. Don't mess with Mother Monk. Ooh. I feel too good tonight. <laughs> Refreshing Coast, the eye opener. It actually brings you back to life. Mmm, fresh apple cake. The whole house smells of hot cinnamon and apples. It's grandmother's recipe. I'm Mrs. Olson. I remember grandma saying the right ingredients make such a difference in our food taste. So when people say all coffees are alike, I say no, they're not. Folgers is different, a special blend. Mmm, smells rich. Folgers is mountain grown, the richest, most aromatic kind of coffee. In cool mountain air, coffee grows slower, stores up more rich flavor. Folgers mountain grown flavor. Mmm, delicious. You know, good coffee is like good cooking. You can really taste the difference. Try Mountain Grown Folgers. Come discover stamp collecting. Come discover the America you may never get to see. Come explore your country. With U.S. stamps, you'll experience America's great wildlife and beautiful plant life. It's an experience you can pass along for generations. So come to the post office and discover stamp collecting with the Desert Plants Block of Four. I always thought of them as, as my wife and my kids instead of these people named Marsha, Josh, and Aaron. Yeah. Hey, I, I got my first byline today. Oh, isn't that nice? Yeah. yeah I, I, you know, I think they're going to make me an assistant editor before too long. Hey, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. You no, know, I, I, I can't believe all the things that have been happening to me in the last few months. You know, tomorrow is the big game, and for some reason I, I just can't get excited about it. I know I should, but... I, why? 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 I just feel like I should. I mean, we're playing for the championship. We never played for the championship before. I guess, I guess things are starting to change for me. The game just doesn't mean what it used to. I don't know if anything can be the same anymore. You know what I mean? I think so. We can talk about it more next time. Okay. I'll see you then Monday at 6.20. I think so. I'll check the book.
That was the most humiliating experience I've ever had. Just to get a stinking car out of impound. They treat you like... That's it, Rochelle. You win. You're kidding. No, I've had it. We're leaving. Great neck eats it raw! Oh, Artie, we'll be so happy in Arkansas! Hey, come on, cut it out. Hey, I'm driving here. Oh, when are we gonna go? As soon as we can. We'll, we'll sell the house, we'll pay back Bucky and those other people. And... At least we don't have to worry about moving any furniture. That's right. Arkansas. 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 Yeah. Hello? Yeah, who is this? It's Bunny. Lou, are you there? Bunny. Bunny, I can't believe it. It's really you. I was away for a few days. I just got back. I saw that you called. Yeah, well... I don't know what to say. I heard about your husband. Yeah, well... Hey, I'm really sorry, Bunny. The same thing happened to my mother and stepfather just a little while ago. Oh, I didn't know. I'm so sorry. Yeah. The thing is, I want to see you. Sure. Would be nice to catch up on all times. Right. Why don't we get together today? Today? Yeah. Well, wait, wait. I got a big game today. Uh... Oh, we can make it some other time. No, 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 no. Uh, meet me there. At the game. It's at Memorial Field at 4 o'clock. You remember where that is. In Great Neck? Yeah. It'll be like old times you're watching me play. Well, I... Um... Come on, hey, don't play hard to get with me now. I've been really looking forward to seeing you. Really, Bunny. Please. Okay. So I'll see you this afternoon. I guess so. Bye, Lou. Bye, Bunny. Bunny Goldstein. On a normally leveraged spot option contract, we get this kind of a trend line. I'm sure we recognize it. It's a pretty much standard. Look what happens when we dollar cost average. Yes, Bucky. Yes, I move that we adjourn until tomorrow morning. Uh, it's, uh, it's 10.30, Buck. Yes, I know. Uh, I have to catch a plane. I've got a meeting in New York. I'll see you tomorrow. Good day. He's going to fly to New York for a meeting and then fly back here tomorrow morning? That's why he's successful. He cares. Hi. Oh, I hear you come in. I didn't want to interrupt you. I'll go find the kids. No, it's okay. I'll get them. Uh, really, go back to work. Oh, okay. Kids! Dad's here! Hi, Dad! Yay! Hey, Harry! Hi. How you doing? Yay. Nice to see Woo. you. Whoa, I got the both of them. <laughs> the calories? My shoelace just broke. Stop dawdling. This game's important to your father. Yeah, I know. Big championship. Hey, you guys want to know what's really important to me? We are. Right. You say the nicest thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Let's yeah. go. Monty. Look, uh, I know things have been strained for the past couple of weeks. But we go back a long way together, right? Hey, Roy. And we have a chance to do something here today that we've been dreaming about for a long time. So let's just put it aside any differences that we might have and go out there and win this thing, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I just want you guys to know that no matter what's happened in the past, that I still love you guys. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, 
I love you. I love you too. Oh. Good guy. Uh, sorry about that shit. Oh, that's okay. No, that's all right. That's in it. Hey, man. Come here, man. Hey, 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 I'm starting to like this. <laughs> Come on. Hey, uh, you guys smell better than my wife. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you looking for? Nobody. Fix your hat. Bravo! Come on, let's go out there and win this one. Come on, Bucks, let's win the big one. Come on, wake up. Come on, Chow. Come on, Lou, let's get in the game. What are you doing? Bonnie. Hi, Lou. It's been 15 years. 15 years? Oh, oh God. <laughs> you okay, buddy? Dead, Monty. They're dead. My mom and Mundo. I'm never going to see them again. I didn't even cry at their funerals. It's okay. You're crying now. Just let it out. I love them. I love them so much. Now they're dead. Everybody's gone. Even Walter Cronkite's not doing the news no more. Are you okay, Lou? Oh, I'm fine, I guess. There's something in my eyes. I'm sorry you had to see me this way. It's okay. I wanted everything to be perfect. I thought when we looked at each other, we would just fall into each other's arms and we'd want to get married and everything would be right. I'm sorry. It's okay, Lou. You sure? I'm sure. Maybe after the game, we could just go for some coffee. 
I would be fine. Then maybe marriage later. We'll see. <laughs> We tried. He's handling this in such a mature manner. We're very proud of him. What are you talking about? He popped out to end the game. You proud of that? He did the best he could. You guys, you had a busy day. Come on, let's hit the showers. Come on, let's go. I love you, Daddy. Oh, I love you, too. Yeah, I love you, too. Even though you did pop out to end the game. Hey, come on. Get out of here before I smack you one. for the year, huh? Yep. Some season, huh? Sure was. Hey, got something for you. I thought I only got these when you won. 
things change. Want some coffee? Uh, I think I better get going. Yeah. Can I call you? I'd like that. appearing in tonight's cast are George Petrie, Del Bolton, Jacqueline Carlin, Gloria Hayes, Alma Betrin, and John Petlock. Tomorrow, Betty Davis and Keenan Wynn star in the CBS Wednesday night movie, A Piano for Mrs. Cimino. Tonight on the CBS Late Movie, will Mel's happy burger raise his profits or just his hopes? Then on WKRP, Mr. Carlson's political campaign creates some static. Can McLeod protect a disbelieving target? Alice... WKRP and McLeod on tonight's CBS Late Movie. Next week, it's February fireworks. You've seen him on the Johnny Carson Show, an armed robber, and the first man to escape from Folsom Prison. I bet we're on the front page every newspaper in the state. They called him Dangerous Company. Then, his work helping other prisoners go straight. You're gonna be out of here on parole. Earned Ray Johnson a second chance. Now, with a woman's love, courage, and support, he faces the biggest challenge of all. Half a million split three ways. <laughs> crazy? I'm not going back. Bo Bridges stars in Dangerous Company next Tuesday. If the old green thumb is frozen numb Give yourself a blast Catch February fireworks on CBS This month, come running for February fireworks on CBS Catch one winner after another Soaring, loving, joyful A celebration of box office hits And made for television movies February is a movie lover's dream Reach for the stars on CBS Rose and... A piano for Mrs. Chimino. What happens when everything is taken from a woman just because she's old? I want my house. It's already been sold. Can she fight back and regain a useful life? I am not a child. The incomparable Betty Davis stars with Keenan Wynn in A Piano for Mrs. Chimino. CBS presents one of the most heroic love stories of all time. Leslie Ann Down is Esmeralda, condemned to death by a jealous priest. I must have you. The only man whose love can set her free is the most fearsome beast in all the world. A spectacular all-new production. Anthony Hopkins is the hunchback of Notre Dame. Gene Wilder. Richard Pryor. This has been a nerve shattering experience for me, sir. And Jill Clayburgh. I know what goes where and why. All together in the hilarious, crazy Silver Street. Is it over? He was an armed robber and the first man to escape from Folsom Prison. They called him Dangerous Company. Then his work helping other prisoners go straight earned Ray Johnson a second chance. Now, with a woman's love, courage, and support, he faces the biggest challenge of all. Bo Bridges stars in Dangerous Company. These are but a few of the superstars and super stories coming your way this month on CBS. This is CBS. In the news tonight, anxiety surrounds the Los Angeles visit of the Turkish ambassador to the United States. 1982 has thus far not been a very good year for Air Florida. Tonight, a plane load of their patrons returned from a Caribbean detour. 
Porno star John Holmes will have to stand trial on the Wonderland murders. The Russian consulate in San Francisco gets the no-nuke treatment. And on this Groundhog Day, we'll show you what the country's most famous weather prognosticator really looks like. All ahead on the Channel 2 News tonight. Your cat give you that cold shoulder when you serve cold leftover cat food? Watch her warm up to new Fancy Feast. Fancy Feast, darling? One meal in every can. It zips open for a moist and delicious serving every time. Mmm, moist and delicious. Seven delicious varieties, all in single serving cans. And no leftovers. New Fancy Feast Gourmet Cat Food. One moist and delicious meal in every can. Darlings, they're worth it. This is it. It's stock up on Del Monte time. The savings don't stop. It's the Del Monte event of the year. Alpha Beta's reduced over 50 Del Monte favorites. Like corn, catsup, fruit cocktail. And when you buy them by the case, you get them at our cost. No limit. Fellas? So get in on all the savings you can. Save on over 50 Del Monte products and get cases at our cost. At Alpha Beta, the savings don't stop. Tell a friend. He pulled my hair out. He came in the car and said, Lady, I'll show you. Would you believe these people were assaulted by a licensed and respected auto repossessor? The people tend to exaggerate. Is it possible you could be abused in such a manner? Reporter Scott Osborne investigates one local repossessor accused of taking more than cars. Is he taking liberty with the law? So I hit a guy with a ball bat once. I don't consider myself to be violent. Learn more weeknights at 6 on the Channel 2 News. The team to watch. Mexico's Celebrity Panda, tomorrow at 7.30. Connie Chung, Jess Marlowe, Jim Hill, McClovio Perez, and reporters Terry Murphy and Ross Becker. The Channel 2 News tonight. Good evening. A large security force provided by the Los Angeles Police Department and the Secret Service has been gathered tonight to protect Turkey's ambassador to the United States. The ambassador is here for the memorial services for the Turkish Consul General who was assassinated last week in Westwood. Channel 2's Terry Murphy was at Los Angeles International Airport when the ambassador arrived. She has this report. Scores of Los Angeles police officers were in place at the West Imperial Terminal at LAX long before the arrival of Ambassador Sukru Elekdad's private jet. Later, a waiting limousine sandwiched between Secret Service cars and more Los Angeles police sped toward the Century Plaza Hotel, a temporary stop before going on to an undisclosed location. It was the tightest of security, leaving nothing to chance. So far, one man, 19-year-old Harry Sassoonian, has been charged with taking part in the assassination of Turkish Consul General Kemal Arakan Thursday. And tonight, police continue looking for at least one more suspect whom they believe pumped more than a dozen bullets into the Consul General. Sassoonian is being held without bail, and court documents mistakenly released yesterday revealed a list of items seized from his Pasadena home, including a receipt for a gun he allegedly purchased. In his car, police confiscated a bullet cartridge from a 350 57 Magnum and a 39-page manifesto from a group called the Armenian Youth Federation. The FBI said it has never heard of the group and didn't know if it was associated with another Armenian group claiming responsibility for the assassination of the Turkish Consul General. But Ambassador Elekdad knows well the animosities between Turks and Armenians. Last November, just four days before his arrival in Los Angeles to address the World Affairs Council, a bomb exploded outside the door of the Turkish consulate. His presence in Los Angeles was met with a demonstration by over 500 Armenians asking the Turkish government to acknowledge the 1915 massacre of over a million Armenians. And while there was no confrontation between the ambassador and the demonstrators, his life was reportedly threatened. Ambassador Alec Dog will attend a private service tomorrow for the slain Consul General at the Islamic Center. He is also expected to attend a plane side service at the airport tomorrow before the body of Kemal Arakan is flown back to Turkey. On both occasions, security is expected to be just as tight as it was tonight. Connie and Chess? Thank you, Terry. An Orange County man, reputedly the head of the so-called Vietnam Mafia, is in jail tonight on suspicion of attempted murder. 
Channel 2's Orange County correspondent Dave Lopez has a report on the man they call Mr. Ty. Publicly, investigators won't say it. Privately, they leave no doubt. Ty Hu Nguyen, better known as Mr. Ty, is the godfather of the Vietnamese Mafia. According to police, because of this 39-year-old man, the Vietnamese Mafia in Southern California has grown in strength and numbers. Mr. Ty is accused of attempting to...